Yeah, it's funny. Well, I actually, I literally just heard about it yesterday, so I don't have like the best track record <laughs> of working with it. But um, it uh, was talking to a colleague about, um, we got talking about getting things done, the, the sort of James Allen mm -hmm. approach to like, getting things done and uh which is which is great it's sort of like a zen approach sort of a bottom-up approach to managing stuff I've, I've read it it's very um i wouldn't be able to get half the stuff done that i do <laughs> if it wasn't for going yeah. through that and in my t task list and everything i need to read it again because i know i only grazed just a little bit off of it yeah i kind of keep i keep going back to it just as like and some people really like dive in and, and go full full guru on it and mm -hmm. which is awesome but for me it's just sort of like uh you know like having a simple method of how do you on the day-to-day -day, um get things done and it's not about you know it doesn't need to be about like uh this is a bit of a tangent, but it's all good. The you know, it's like in the '90s. There's a sort of uh, you know, Covey uh, sort of seven principles, highly effective people, and, right. and sort of people are talking about their overarching missions and goals and these really hierarchy, like high level stuff. But then, but then at the end of the day, it's like, where do you pay? Like, how do you like? There's your life gets filled with all these little tiny pieces of paper that aren't really tied to the fact that you're into you know having more agency or more integrity in your life it's like i just need to process these little stupid pieces of paper that are filling up my pockets and like i lost another ticket and then i get the you know uh, there's a fine because i you know just all this little stuff right it's how do you um so anyway so that's getting things done is more about that but talking to a colleague uh who actually had trained in, in that methodology and actually worked with James Allen and stuff. And uh, just yesterday, he was saying, oh, you gotta, you know, you should check out this this app, Scannable. So I, I downloaded it yesterday mm -hmm. and it's awesome. It's, um, so what it is, is it's, um, uh, I have it on my iPhone, but uh, it's from Evernote. So they, who has a track record of, um, you know, from at least what I understand of, playing well across multiple devices um and basically it's a it's a little handy iphone app that um you point it at a uh any document it could be a business card post-it note sticky doc it sort of does takes a high-res picture automatically imports it and then gives you options for um how you manage that and where you send it um, so, uh, you know, I'm looking at the screen here right now, and it's offering me options of, I just scanned a, a memo that someone had and imported it really quickly, pretty, like, great resolution. Um, and I just have an iPhone 5. It's not, a, mm -hmm. it's not the 6. Um, but, you know, the option to mail it, to Evernote it. You don't need an Evernote account. Um, I have one from, like, God knows how long ago that I never used uh, mail message export it um, and uh, yeah so it, it just kind of it's one of these things that seems to like um, do one thing but do it pretty well mm -hmm. Evernote's been really good about this I actually use Evernote myself for uh, you know, receipts for my business, bills, stuff like that. Um, it was funny, as you mentioned, that I'm pulling receipts out of my pocket to play with this thing. Um, but but it, it, it does a pretty admirable job of, of kind of taking the picture in a certain way that it will OCR it. And I can search for, oh, I need to find that receipt from the meal we did at Denny's, right? And it will actually search Denny's. Um, but I like this. Plan I had actually installed this and forgot about it a couple weeks ago, apparently. Um, but it actually does like a look for the document. Um, which I, I very uh, Citizens Bank their their check mobile deposit does very similar to this where it actually kind of draws an outline and looks for it um, and it'll and I have kind of a crumpled up receipt so I was having a little trouble with it but it'll find like half of it and, and start to try to take a picture of it so so maybe not having these um, folded up receipts in your pocket for an extended period of time is a good idea with this application but probably you know, it looks like it's more kind of you know, they're saying uh, business cars, you know, stuff like that, um, which, you know, it just having that moment to like, okay, I go in, I got to take the picture. Okay, did that picture take all right? It looks like it's pretty good about 
having that like direct response and 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 that you know kind of ready for you so yeah and it says in the, when i up i haven't tried it on a business card and i'm curious to do that right now because because one thing it it's it like uh it it shows the picture in their in their uh on the login it shows a picture sort of of somebody taking a business picture of a business card and then it being automatic like kicking over to linkedin mm -hmm. um, so I'm curious if it actually does that or if that's just the sort of... They had a business card app that, that did that and linked everything over to LinkedIn. And it was, it was specifically just for business cards. And I wonder what happened with that. Um, because it, it was one of those where you only had so many and they're like, oh, you have to become a premium user in order to use it more, I guess. Um, yeah. and that, and I, that actually worked extremely well. So I'm interested to see how that, that works. Like what, because... do, what does this do differently, right? Or, or am I, am I going to get caught in the same catch 22 where, okay, I'm, you get five a month or whatever it was. And then after that, you have to start paying, which that was actually one of the things that almost got me to sign up and pay for Evernote was the business card, card scanning feature. Yeah. That, this because, because it added it into your contacts. It took a backup photo and uploaded it into Evernote. And then it pulled all of their additional information from social networks from LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So, if this is if this is a, an update to that, I'm going to probably look at this again because I think it is that mm -hmm. that yeah, I just yeah I just took a picture of a card and it um, automatically kicked me to the uh, to the login screen saying like you know sign in for Evernote plus LinkedIn and. Mm -hmm. um, it, it automatically saw that it was a business card, so it, it seems like that's you know this is sort of the next the, the next step they're taking to integrate those two or whatever, uh, which is a pretty cool feature. I mean, I, I get what you're saying about almost considering it like you know to sign in, I've got like a huge stack of cards literally right here. You know, it's <laughs> like oh well, you know they just sit in my bag until I. Yeah, you know, they make it somewhere else. And, yeah, or, or you need one, and then you're going through and okay, where was that? Where was that? Where was that? It, mm -hmm. it just makes it so much more searchable, and that's really? where, to me, paying for their service. It's if you meet a lot of people or work with a lot of people that are exchanging business cards, it's it's almost worth worth. Evernote's worth it just for that. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just like getting rid of that pile of papers on my desk. Just mm -hmm. like, okay, we'll put it in here, put it here, throw it all away because I know it's up in there. And, and again, it, like my volume isn't big enough that I need to pay for it at this point. But if I had that volume, I and I was for a while paying was it five bucks a month? Um, because I think it just limits yeah, you. Five at, bucks a month. It limits you to so many hundred megabytes, I think, a month. Mm -hmm. But if you're only doing like receipts every once in a while or, or business cards, um, if you're just a light user, but it's one of those things where they keep putting apps out like this that get you to want to use it more and then you know they bring you in which i think it's worth it i think it's a great service especially if you into just organizing your life getting things done i was reading something about somebody doing show notes for podcasts uh, and sharing documents that way kind of like how we're using google documents on this show um so so scannable um i think it's just evernote.com slash product slash scannable if you want to check it out or look up scannable in the uh, app store it's the thing under evernote so uh thanks for sharing that so yeah. at this point, uh, hey, want to give a shout out to our friend Slice on Broadway. Um, they've been supporting, uh, of course, not everybody got in the studio today because it's pretty icy out there. Um, but uh, the, we've had some pretty good nights here getting people in studio. And so it's the best way, even though it's great we can do this over technology. Um, and they've supported the shows and the podcast, the, the guests coming and visiting Beachview here in Pittsburgh, PA uh, with uh, Great Pittsburgh Pizza for podcasting you can check them out sliceonbroadway.com um like i said they're up here in the beachview area right along the tracks um in the south hills of pittsburgh and they also have another location in carnegie pa on main street some great gourmet pizza 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 excuse me not peaches uh from scratch and and uh, uh they, they they self proclaim to have an abnormal obsession with pizza they're perfectionists and I like eating perfection. Uh, also, I understand they were featured on uh, KDKA. Uh, they have many awards uh, with some local um, um, publications and news. Uh, WPXI's 2012 pizza, pizza, Pittsburgh's Best Pizza. There's a lot of peas. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so go check them out. Uh, follow them uh, at, at P 
PGH underscore Slice on Twitter and Slice on Broadway on Facebook and Instagram. It will make you hungry, I promise, and let them know that the awesome cast sent you. All righty, let's get into some of the tech news of the week with what little time we have left. Um, oh, geez, what's the top two?